Well, get ready because Jesse Ventura is going to give it to you straight about all these stupid wars. Well, first of all, let's take it into perspective. Um, I wasn't a critic of the Afghan war initially, right after 9-11, because we were led to believe that it was Osama bin Laden and these people from Afghanistan that attacked us that day. Well, so we went after them. But then a couple of things changed. First of all, look what they told us. They said 19 Islamic radicals armed with box cutters defeated our multi-billion dollar air defense system, all while conspiring with a bearded guy in a cave in Afghanistan. That's what we were sold. That's what we went to war on. But then when you dig a little deeper, you have to ask the question, why was Russia in there in the 1980s? I could never figure that out until it became clear. I remember it was about three weeks after we went into Afghanistan. There was a small article in the Minneapolis paper that was buried about four or five pages in. And here's what it said. It said a huge vein of lithium discovered in Afghanistan. Now, what is what do they want us to believe? We didn't know about this vein of lithium when we went in there, that Afghanistan is hugely mineral rich and that lithium is used for every computer and cell phone soon to be in the world. Now, they want me to believe some Marine was on recon or patrolling and tripped over this vein of lithium and we had no idea it was there. I don't buy that. There's reasons we went into Afghanistan, and they weren't just because of 9-11. Now, 9-11 happened. If you believe that, everything, and I don't believe everything on 9-11 today. I have a lot of unanswered questions about that infamous day. But looking back on the Afghan war now, and you look at how much money we've spent how many people have been killed? How can we possibly say it's successful? And then you look at what followed, the invasion of Iraq, based on lies, upsetting the whole balance in the Middle East. And now we got Syria, we got troops in there, we're shooting rockets in there. Nobody's declared war on Syria. They're a sovereign nation. Aren't we required to declare war on a country if we put military into that country and they're fighting? You're damn right we're supposed to. Everything is out of whack, and it all started with Afghanistan, which is still going on 18 years later for us, the Dems and the Repubs, to fulfill the needs of the military-industrial complex.